Hi there, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about AWS Cognito Federated Identities. So in my previous video, I was talking about uh, user pools and it's the continuation of that part, how to use this federated identities. So we need to keep uh, look back into our previous video also. If you don't have your user pools, you have to create a user pool first in order to continue with this lab session. So basically, uh, Cognitive Identity Pools, that is our uh, federated identities, provides different functionality compared to the user pools. So basically, identity pools are used for user authorization. We can also have a unique entities for our users and federate them with our identity providers also. So we can utilize the user pools also. So using identity pools, user can obtain the temporary AWS credentials to access other AWS services, DynamoDB, S3, and blah, blah, things, you can utilize it. So identity pools can be thought of as an actual mechanism that helps to authorize access to the AWS resources. So whenever we create identity pool, so we can think of like we are defining who is being allowed to access the AWS, get AWS credentials, and use those credentials to access the AWS resources, basically. So this is the whole concept. It is totally different than the user pools. So this is just a rough diagram over here. Uh, so you can see over here, we have our cognitive user pool and it redirects the user to this federating IDP using this. You can use this uh, uh, Facebook, Google, Amazon, SAML, whatever you want, then we can go for this granting the token, then AWS Solus backend that we have, we can give access to those users. So this is how the whole process works from starting from authenticating over here, redirecting the user, granting the token, and giving access to the serverless backend that we have. So let's move on to the lab. I will show you a few things over there. So this was the previous, if you don't have this uh, user pool, so please watch my previous video in order to create the user pool. And today we will click on this federated entities over here. Let me keep it open another window for this. Okay, so I can copy the user pool ID and all those things. Okay, so I'll go back over here. So you can see uh, this is the user pools. Then you can see over here federated identities. So I'll click on this. And you can see it's asking for the user pool. That is CG user pool. So we can define some unique name and you can utilize it. And you can see we can give enable access to unauthenticated entities. We can make it over here. So that will help you to grant your AWS credentials and all. So rest of the things, let's keep it simple. And you can see over here, what are the authorization authentication providers? You can also choose Amazon, you can choose Apple, you can use Facebook, Google, whatever you want you need to enter the client id then you can make it but i will be using this my existing user pool so i'll copy the id and paste it over here and app id so we need to go down you can copy paste this whole thing that is the app client id you can just click on that also in order to get copy this one and paste it over here. Just didn't copy. So let me go the other way. So you can copy from here and paste it over here. Okay. And create the pool. So this will help you to access the AWS resources. Now you can see it is creating two roles over here. One is for your authenticated entities would like to access to Cognito. 
and unauthenticated identities would like to access Cognito. So you're just creating two of them, two roles. You can check the policy document also over here. You can see it is for mobile analytics and all those things are there. Cognito sync and Cognito identity. So it's creating the role for that. Now, if I click allow over here, Okay, some role I already exists, so I'll just put two over here in front of it because I already created previously example, so that's why. Okay, so now you can see you can get the SDK, whichever you want .NET and all, you can download it, and then you can write the code for it. So if you go to the dashboard over here. You can see over here how many entities and all, how many were unauthenticated, and how many used your user pool. And you can just check in the browser also, like this. Here it will show you all the details. So basically, but you need to install this SDK, then only you can, you need to write a code for this. You can get a sample from this developer guide and all. So you need to download this SDK for Android or whatever you want. JavaScript, .NET, Zamarian or all, you can utilize this. And then you can write the code. So basically it is SDK, if you see the .NET one, this AWS SDK, you need to include it. And you need to initialize the cognitive credentials by providing this uh, URN and identity pool ID and the region. This is how we are going to explain in that. So if this SDK is not found, basically you can download it anywhere. You can easily get this SDK. Oops. Anyways. So this is how you can utilize this federated entities. Uh, in the upcoming videos, I will try to make any small project or something like that in order to explain you more uh, properly. But uh, this is enough because you know this. Uh, there, there is a Cognito Sync is there, we use the AWS App Sync. So I will create a video on this App Sync. So it is a new service that will help you to, for synchronizing the application across all the devices and all. So instead of using Cognito Sync, basically there was three parts were there, user pool, federated entities, and the Cognito Sync. So the Cognito Sync has been removed away and there is now AWS App Sync is there. So few ads on are being added to it. So it helps you to like uh, synchronize the user data, game data, or any kind of preferences and all it will store it. Accordingly, it will, uh, like for multiple users, it can sync those things and collab do the collaboration on the real time. So meetings, chat rooms, and all lots of things. So this will be quite interesting. I will show you this app sync in the next video, in the upcoming videos. I hope you like my video. Please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.